What's good, people? Kev here, one half of the Albatross Junction Creative, other half being Space Windu. Shout to Space Windu. You can find him here on YouTube and IG at S P A C E W I N D U. Building all types of craziness. Um, but yeah, last week we went live on a comic book creation live stream on um, on his channel, I believe it was. It was uh, series number 11. So yeah, so during that series I was coming up with looks of an area called Pikeburg where a uh, one of the characters named Mackenzie, this poor bastard, he just lost a sun satellite to the Honorable Donovan Cordova, first of his name. The, uh, the stream wasn't looking too good, so I wanted to upload a clearer version, as HD as possible, so you guys get a clear view of what we're thinking of. And um, this is just, just a little bit short of finalized, because we're going to add some more tech and stuff like that. But yeah, just um, hang around and check it out. So yeah, this is me laying down some perspective guidelines, just so I get my buildings and shapes in the right area, just so they feel like they have some weight to them, and they just make sense. But... um. The way we see Pikeburg going, it's just a rinky-dink area. It's nothing fancy. It's second-rate. Nothing like Quantum Heights. Quantum Heights is probably one of the best areas in this world that we've created. Um, and that's run by Donovan Cordova, as we said in previous videos. So, the man of Pikeburg is Mackenzie, who was second in command, but you know he lost the first in command in the, in the, in the war that just took place between him and Quantum Heights for the, for the Sun Satellite. So, being that they lost, they lost light. They lost synthetic sunlight so they're left in the dark and they're left without any source of heat well or their or a major source of heat so the struggle is very real for these people in in, in uh pikeburg no clue what they're going to do for themselves so the way we see it it's um a really congested place structures on top of structures just put together haphazardly and people are just trying to survive um when it's all said and done and we finalize this area, it's going to be much more congested than what you see here. This is just a small corner of Pike. And uh, what you're seeing on top of the buildings here is just some, some rinky-dink sort of tech that I'm thinking of that, that kind of uh, stops the ice from forming on the rooftops so that it doesn't cave in the structures. Because, you know, I mean, if, if, if it's a negative 100 degrees on average daily, so if you've got ice on, the tops of, on every rooftop, you're, just, you're not going to have a building standing left at all. One thing that uh, Anthony did point out to me is that we need to add more um, more pipes and just, just make it look a little bit more industrial maybe. And, and there's got to be more generators, some nuclear fusion generators, some, some things we don't even understand, some things we might not even be able to explain, but we're going to draw them in there, damn it. And it's going to look pretty sick when it's all said and done. So here we go. This is basically the main gist of Pikeburg left in the dark post Donovan Cordova's mayhem. Paul McKenzie, you feel bad for the guy. Boy, she, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let him tug in your heartstrings and just pray for the best. So um, one idea we had when we went live with this, we went live with this last Thursday on on, uh, on his channel, like I said earlier, and we were playing with the idea of uh, Pompeii, how when you walk through Pompeii, you see people who were just left in ash, less, literally bodies left in ash. So we thought it would be a nice touch. Well, not a nice touch, but it'll be an interesting touch to show bodies who are just freezing to death, who just froze in the streets, which you'll see a couple here. And I, I think since this version, I've added a couple of more in the background, just, just laid on the ground freezing. It's kind of messed up. You see this little figure in the background? It's kind of small. I don't know if you, you can zoom in, but it's like a, a parent with a little kid. Oh, man, it's, that's the saddest. It's like a cheat code. It's, it's tugging on heartstrings. See the moon up in the sky? black because there is no sun can't forget that so it's not reflecting any light so I, i'm guessing it's gonna just be a black mass in the sky in the night sky here's the poor bastard himself mackenzie looking out at his people trying to come up with a plan trying to see how you can save him he's a noble guy he's gonna try his best we'll see what happens but that's about it a better view stay tuned please for more and be sure to check out my channel here and space windows channel for more comic book creation live episodes and much more content on albatross junction Peace out, my peeps.